I'm going to show you how to do multiple choice scoring. Um, and this is with binary items, which means that there's only one correct answer. And that's a little bit different than polytomous items, which there could be a range of scores. So in a polytomous item, it might be strongly disagree, disagree, agree, and so on. Um, or it might be something like um, never, sometimes, often, or always. But again, this is going to just be the binary. So we'll start out with binary, then we'll go to polytomous, and I can show you how to do that. So here we go. Here we have, we're going to go to transform. You can do this in basic item scoring. That would be here. And see, so you have, I have put the right answers at the top. So we've got A, D, C, B. And then on the bottom half of that box, there's a number, and that number indicates the number of choices available. So in this case, we have A through D. So there are four choices available. Now, let's just say we had A through E. Then we put five choices available. And if you can think of it as transformation into zeros and ones, then here we have zeros and ones. This would be if you answered A, you got one. If you answered B on this item, you would have gotten zero. So now I'm going to show you how to do basic item scoring with polytomous data. You're going to go back up into that transform tab. And you're going to go down to basic item scoring. And as you can see here, we still have four choices in the bottom box, but then they go up by zeros. So what we're basically telling JMetric is that our items are scored from zero up to four. We can also do this in advanced item scoring. So let's go ahead and do the advanced item scoring. And then let's look at item one. We would go over here to the options and we would put A, B, C, D. And then on the right side, we would put, if A was the answer for option one, z one, zero, zero, zero. Let's just say that this was not a binary test and it was something like a rank ordering or a strongly agree, disagree, and so on. Then here we might put for um, item one, option A would be a score of three, option B, oops, option B, score of two, option C, score of one, option D, score of zero. That would be the difference between polytomous and the binary. Okay, so the binary only has one correct answer. Polytomous might have a couple correct answers. In fact, maybe C is zero. But that's a little bit complex, and we're really just going to focus on the polytomous data and um, the binary.